Hi, today we, uh, we're going to take off front door panels on a 2015 uh, Cadillac SRX. Uh, first, we're going to want to go behind the switch here, pop this up, and there's two screws under here. And that pretty much holds most of the panel in there. And then there's a bunch of clips all the way around the door. So we're going to start off with like a, some kind of a plastic tool to try to get over the switch. Just try to be as careful as you can working it. There's clips here, and I believe there's one back here, and then there's ones up here. So we want to take off the switch as even as possible because it's really long. We don't want to break it. So. Slowly. kind of want to push the switch where you put the bottom part you're kind of picking up so that I'll show you when I pull it out. It's a little bit tough. Not easy to take off. So what you want to do is you want to get the switch to kind of turn like that because the panel is actually hitting on it. So you want to kind of round it. Make it come up like this. Then we get it out. And as you see there's a couple of clips here, here, back here, and then there's one in the front. I'm just going to go ahead and unplug this just for now, just to get it out of the way. Then there's two screws right up in here. Little Phillips head screws. Want to work our way around the door panel, all the way around the door panel, slowly. Now if you have a panel popper tool like this. We'll try to get behind here. Access the clips and just try to get as close as what you feel like it's tight. And just kind of work your way all the way around. Cadillac uses some pretty decent clips on this, so I mean, you might they might pop off um, off the actual panel itself and stay on on the body of the of the door. Then you can just take them off, and put it back on there. So once you got that off, then you just want to pick up the panel from the door lock side up and then come out. It basically, sits on this rubber seal here. Okay. And then on the back side of this. <clears throat> The door has a little yellow setup here where, for the actual handle. So what you want to do is you want to pick up that little yellow piece and then slide it out. And then you pull the little ball off, off of the little mechanism that's in here. And the actual panel has two clips. They have to be pushed in and I'll just show you in a minute. The panel here there's a release lever, okay? Now this release right here. You push down on this. This this U-shaped thing is actually on the other side. So when you press on those, you're gonna push it over to the where it's sitting right now, and then you're gonna wiggle the connector out. When you put the connector back in. Then it's gonna it's gonna release something in here where it lets this come back and lock back into place. Um, a couple of clips that did uh, come off the door. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but there's one here, and then there's one right here, and then there's one by the speaker. So we're gonna take those off. What I like to do is I don't like to just pop them off like this. I've noticed that they sometimes break when you just go like this. Okay, so what I like to do is is put it on there and then come either this way or this way and then stick our panel deal underneath there to show you. 
I'll show you on the second one. This one's already out. So, so I can. So if we if we go here, then we're just going to go like this. And see how the clip just comes right off. And it won't break it. Same thing here. This way. And then we go like that. And that's pretty much it for taking it off. And then it's basically reverse order. <coughs> putting it back on so we'll put those clips back on there um, and that's pretty much uh, how you take off this door panel I'm gonna actually tint it so I have to take this rubber channel out of here it gets in my way when I'm tinting the windows so yes we do have to take the door panels to tint this vehicle um, so if you have any questions hit me up uh, I haven't taken off the back ones I'm not gonna do those uh, I'm not very familiar with those but it's probably something similar to this it probably has the switch and there's a couple screws they generally make them pretty much similar so if you have any questions hit me up Thanks for watching.